Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the anytime section of my sticker kit collection. Uh, most of these kits are hoarded for a long time before they get used. So I have this movie night kit that was the February mystery I believe from Glam Planner. This kit will probably get used before a lot of the others just because I see it happening sooner. <laughs> um, Compared to the others, some of them are home type kits that do eventually get moved into my home section because I think that's where I would look for them first. And then I have a couple that are more specialty events. Um, if something very specific happened that week, then that's the kit I would use. So it kind of just depends, but I would also pull these in if I just didn't have anything going on that week. Um, since I'm such a big seasonal kit person, uh, it's rare that I use my anytime kits. However, they are very pretty and I do have them. So maybe one day I'll use more anytime kits and then uh, if I don't have enough seasonal art, then I would use come into this collection too. And that's similar to how I treat my Disney collection, um, that it's just... I use it less often and uh, it's kind of rare to see, but they are more specialty kits. So we had the Glam Planner Movie Night Kit, we have the Porcelain and Pawpaws Kit from Glam Planner, and then this one is the August Mystery from last year, 2021, with the roller skating kind of arcade bowling type kit. And I really like these colors. I think this is a perfect spring kit if you don't do more seasonal art. So I do really like this kit. And I love that it's uh, not super, like a lot of bowling alleys in arcades I feel like are very dark. And I like how this one's very bright. And then we have this kit. This is the art museum uh, type kit. I think this is July mystery. If I remember correctly um, from last year from 2021 again I really like these this kit I just feel like the colors are very I don't know I don't feel like they go together but maybe it would be different once it's laid down but I do really like the art um, I don't really know when I would use it because I don't go to a lot of museums there is an art museum here in St. Louis that I do really like uh, so maybe one day that would have to do with it. I don't know. Uh, up next, this is the April Mystery from last year from Glam Planner. This is very green. Uh, I know that a lot of people use this in March. It's both spring cleaning and has that March green in it. So, And the overlays for this one I think are perfect. They're not too overdone. Like uh, Probably the Art Museum kit is a little bit too overdone in my opinion, but I do really like this one. I think this one matches it really well. For some of these kits, because with Glam Planner, I do buy some grab bags from her that I have extra sheets, or I have a duplicate kit, so I have leftovers. So I, that does happen a lot, especially with my anytime ones. This kit is the planning time kit from Scribble Prince Co. that was in the Ultimate Mystery Bundle. I actually just laid this one down in my Plan With Me planner, so you will see this probably next week or the week after. And I used it, I think I used it with matte bronze, and it's so pretty. I love the pinks. Not a massive fan of the brown, but I do think it grew on me after I laid it down. This next kit from Scribble Prince Co. is Care. I hope to never use this. I think this would be more of like a hospital visit. But I also think that you could use this for bringing a baby home or something like that, so kind of baby related rather than just being sick and in the hospital type thing. I have this foodie kit. This is probably going to end up being used as a birthday kit for some guy in my life, whether that's my dad or my boyfriend or my brother, just because they're all very foodies. <laughs> um, I have a couple pieces from the Glam Planner kit um, that she used the colorful version. And then I have the mini kit from Scribble Prince Co. that was the neutral version of that. And I think that it'll balance out when that comes because the art is very bright. This next kit from Scribble Prince Co. is Shopping Spree. This one I'm planning on using for mine and my friend's uh, friend anniversary. 
uh, we like to go shopping, of course, so I think it's perfect for that. And I love the muted pinks and that gray navy type color, that fourth color. I love that color. Um, so I think these go really well together, and I think it's a good kit for any time, truly, any time of the year. This next kit from Crest Press is the March Mystery. This is Hot Mess. I just watched Randy from Planner Pixie Co. plan with this. The colors are just that much better when it's laid down, so I'm really excited to use this. Hopefully I don't have a hot mess week, so maybe I don't want to use this, but I love these fashion girls, and I love the colors, especially that um, orange and those blues. I think those are really pretty. This next kit is the Cyber Monday Mystery 2020 from Glam Planner. This is, again, a kit that I've already used once, and so I have a lot of leftovers, um, pieces from grab bags, and then I believe a whole nother kit too. So there's some full sheets and some partial sheets for this kit. I honestly just really like this kit. I like the art and I like the colors that they're very, very muted, but then you have that green in there. I think uh, Plan With Elisa maybe always says that there should be more green in kits, and I agree. I love the green in this. Uh, and even with the January mystery from January 2022 mystery from Scroll Friends Co., that one needs some green. Um, so I think green just pops in this neutral and with the plants too. This next kit from Cress Press is Boho Binge. I kind of view this one in the same way that I view the first kit, the February mystery, the movie night from Glam Planner. I think that this one will be used relatively soon. The colors are perfect for any season, winter, uh, spring, summer, fall, anytime. And I do have movie nights with my friends, so I think that's a really perfect kit. The Crest Press Cyber Monday Mystery from 2021, the Super Spacey kit. I have no idea what I'm going to use with this. I do think that there really needs to be a planet's birthday type kit and not necessarily an alien kit. So... I was like super excited, but then it kind of leans more alien-ish, especially when you pair it with the Cyber Monday foil bundle. So I'm not sure. Maybe it'll end up being like a kid's birthday that is into space and planets and things like that. I just wish it was less aliens, but we'll see. And I do think the colors are really pretty. I think, so this is uh, one of the last couple kits in my anytime section. This is very, very new. This is the March Mystery from Glam Planner. This is Sick Day. This kit, I love the colors. I love the concept because it's not done very often. However, I feel like this is definitely a kit that could have been used a year ago, even a year and a half ago um, with all of COVID. And I think that it would still be good for, you know, seasonal allergies in the spring and things like that. So it's a good kit to have. I just have no idea how to plan it out of when it's going to happen. This next kit is Reset from Apple Blossom Prints. This one I have in her matte paper. So this kit and the next kit I were my first order. So this is the matte paper. I do really like it. I do think it kind of smells funny, but I like that she uses art. This The Ellie Ink art is so pretty and I love that. So I bought that kit and then this is the cream kit I think is what it's called the cream kit from Apple Blossom Prints a lot of shops did this but since it was not exclusive art I decided to get it on the cheaper end and try it out in the Apple Blossom Prints glossy paper again I do like it I'm not sure that I love the glossy paper I do think her printers print the browns and stuff a little red and I don't how love where the cut lines are on her top tall boxes but I still really like the format. So I think we're going to try out and that's all for today. Thank you.